Hello, hello, hello everybody. I hope you are all well this evening. It's Thursday, it's half past eight. That can only mean one thing. It is that time that you have all been waiting for. It is time for our inaugural round of the online oval racing national hot rods at Foxhall Stadium in Ipswich. So, we are all here tonight. Um, everything should be a little bit more exciting compared to what we have seen the last time that we went live. This time we are racing for points. This one isn't just for the, the joy of going round and round in circles. This one is going to start meaning something. So we're here at Ipswich tonight. I will be joined shortly by a co-commentator. I'm going to have uh, Sarah Rostin in with me tonight. And she will be helping out, trying to keep me on the straight and narrow. Um, and hopefully, I mean, she's done this professionally before, so we should have someone who actually knows what they're doing rather than a blithering idiot like myself. Hope you are all well. I may have a, a bit of a, a time trying to keep in between chat in both Facebook and on YouTube. We are on both tonight, which is nice. So you will be able to catch us on the Online Oval Racing YouTube uh, page. And you will also be able to catch us on the Online Oval Racing Facebook page as well. As I said, tonight we are racing at the one, the only Foxhall Stadium. It's the home of the National Hot Rod World Championship. It's also the, whole, the, uh, the host of the Banger World Final. Many of you will have been here. It's my local track, just 15, 20 minutes up the road from where I am here in social isolation. With uh, nothing else to accompany me other than you guys at the other end of the computer. And... Uh, then you have also got Sarah, who is going to be up a little bit closer than I am. Format that we're running tonight, we're running six heats. We've got, I think, 40, is it 47, I think, drivers booked in. A um, lot of drivers booked in, and they are all running in grades. They were graded last time out when we did a test meeting, um, and so they are going to be running in grades tonight. So we can actually start seeing some of the cars are actually heading out and lining up on the screen as we talk so let's jump over and we'll see if we can get you some live pictures of what is happening on screen at the moment so here we are you'll notice that on the left hand side we now don't have the funky graphics that we did last time that was playing up it was giving us all kinds of problems so i've decided against going with those you guys will have to let me know in the chat if you can read what's happening on the left hand side there where it gives everyone's name and positions so there's some cars parked up on the infield that is myself so that i can uh, keep an eye on what's happening here uh, speedworth tv of course, all of these events that we are doing are in association with NationalHotRod.com, Speedworth Motorsports, and Speedworth TV as well are also looking at the event tonight. We're in association with those guys. Commentary team, as we said tonight, is going to be myself, and it's going to be Sarah Austin as well when she gets in here, and uh, she'll be chatting my ear off, and as I said, trying to keep me on the straight and narrow. Special thanks tonight go out to these three guys that you can see on screen at the moment. Lewis Willisey, Craig Durant, and James Budd. They were painters who've worked tirelessly to, uh, to get all of the paints that you can see in-game at the moment all sorted so that everyone is in a nice shiny skin so that we can tell who people are a little bit easier carl waller barrett there he's hidden in just behind that lamp post let's have a look and see what carl can see from his car carl starting in amongst the superstars when we start on the grid Grid as it's running at the moment, Simon 998, Ronan O'Brien in his 715 car next, Boyer Ben 149, Dom Freeman in the 61 car, and Alan in the 959. There are your white tops, FM Racing 17, Lewis Willisey, uh, Matthew Burgess, and Yannick Kalanski are yellow tops. And who else have we got here? Let's have a look. So we've got Cannonball, that's Gavin there. 
He's a blue top. Wayne Wolsey, Aaron McGrath and AS Racing 32 are your blues. Barry Casey, 961. Morgan Williams, 108. Johnny Hammond, Woolly Hardy, 972 are your red tops. And then your superstars for this race. Carl, 162. Ricky Slater, 102. QE in the 174. And Barber, 296. So let's uh, have a look as all of these guys are forming up on the grid now. Got a few cars just creeping around to the back as they all form up. You'll see a couple of these cars are going to be running in the online oval racing skins there. That is people who haven't had their own individual skins done. Looking at Johnny Hammond there in the 50 car. Let's uh, head round to the guys who are starting up front. Here we go. Don Freeman starting as a white top. We'll watch him. And let's watch back. This is the white tops that we're looking at here. As we get ready for the start of heat number one. And here we go. That's a good start there. By Dom. He's... Uh, He's pulling away quite nicely there. It's going to take a second for the timing screen and everything to sort itself out so that we can see who exactly is where. We should see it the next time they come over the start-finish line. He says, assuming that the guys have actually got this sorted, this looks like it's running in a qualifying session at the moment. I can tell you it's definitely not. So someone on the server end hasn't restarted my uh, my timing detail. So I'm going to have to try and wing it. It looks like, as I can see it at the moment, let's just quickly check here. Don Freeman is indeed out in front. He's got Lewis Willisey behind him in the 144 car. And as we head back, let's start to see where the superstars and that are. Look at that, Carl Waller Barrett. That's what seventh place that he's in there. He's already pulling through. And look at Carl, he's already making moves. This is what he sees looking forward. Let's see what's behind him. There's a whole pack of cars there. You can see Ricky Slater's in there. Michael Barber as well. Tucking up close behind Ricky Slater. Ricky's been fast pretty much all through every session that I have seen him in. Oh, and that's a bit of a coming together there. Who was that? Who was... Uh, I'm going to have to... Let's uh, cheat a little bit. Ricky Slater there. You can see Carl's in front. Ricky Slater getting sideways. There we go. Now we can start getting the... Uh, We can start getting everything coming through. There we go. We've got the top 10 now. It's all finally working. We're back. We're back. We're on a roll. Lewis Willisey, 144, is your lead car. And let's have a look, see how some of the other guys are going. Carl Waller Barrett in fifth place. Aaron McGrath in sixth. Ricky Slater's in seventh. That was a little nudge of Aaron McGrath there by Ricky Slater. Barry Casey, 961, is in eighth. Michael Barber, 296, is in ninth. And Alan... Uh, is rounding out your top 10 as we see it so far. There's Barry Casey. Michael Barber. Now Ricky's still trying to make moves. Carl Waller Barrett has already managed to move up to fourth. Ben Denyer in the 149 car is holding on to third. He's coming under pressure from Carl now, who's just passed him down the straight there, going into that corner. Carl a lot faster. There, now you can start to see the difference between the superstars and the lower grade drivers that we've got. Getting to within the same second of these guys is fairly easy to do around these tracks. But I tell you what, half a second on these kind of tracks is an absolutely huge amount of time. Let's get some sound for you. Someone very... As someone pointed out there for us, in YouTube, thank you very much. The sound wasn't working. 15 of 15 laps completed for heat number one. 
So your results are Lewis Willisey in the 144 car. He's finished out top. Second was Dom Freeman. Third, Carl Waller Barrett in the end. Ben Denyer in fourth. Ricky Slater in fifth. Barry Casey in sixth. Michael Barber seventh. Wayne Wolsey is showing in eighth. Ninth, Aaron McGrath. And tenth, Alan959. So that's how heat number one has finished. It won't be long and we'll have the guys out and getting ready for the next event. As we get ready to get the results for you up on screen. So that's the first race over and done with already. That one happened pretty damn quickly. We had a couple of issues which came through, but everything was all sorted in the end. Oh, it's always good fun, this one. Always very fast-paced. Carl Barrett making up a huge amount of, uh, of places in that race. And Lewis Willisey was also... Where, was he, where did we say Lewis was actually starting? He was a yellow top, so um, he, he did pretty well to get through all the white tops and that to finish first. Dom managed to make his way up two places to bring in second place there. So the guys are going to all be heading out of the server very shortly. And we're going to be getting in the second heat of guys. So those guys will come out. Let's see who's in heat two. So we've got Tim 89, Crusher Chrome 66, Mr. King Womble, Snoopy 846, Woodcock 44, and Sean Cooney 921. Those are your white tops. Chris Crane in his very nicely painted 15 car. Um, Pecky, who is running what is a replica of the old 205 uh, livery, which is on a 206 at the moment. Fox 46 and Ryan Woolsey, they are your yellow tops. Craig Durant, Tad's Gaming, Johan 148 and Sean Taylor, number 152. Make out your blues in Reardon. Um, who is, who else have we got? Sean Jacklin is uh, a red top. Smithy 565, BDR 867 are your reds. Finally, we round out the superstars, Derek Martin Adam Maxwell, that guy has been insanely fast in every single race that I have seen him in so far. Craig Slater and McFerrin 910, Niall McFerrin. He's definitely going to be uh, one to watch. So we'll very shortly be able to join those guys on, uh, on track. They're all just heading out now, which will give us a minute before we can then jump back on as they all start to line up. So, we're getting ready and setting in for heat number two. Let's have a look at some of these cars that we have got out lined up on the track for this event. So there we are, number 421. That's Tad's game in there. Tim Close. In his uh, 89, it's a personal skin of his. There's my guy to definitely watch for this race. It's uh, moving about as everyone keeps spawning in. You'll see the cars jumping about a little bit. Tim Close has a very nicely painted car. 
Matt Falk in the 362 car. Let's see who else we've got there. Sean Taylor in the 152 car. Those of you uh, who frequent the National Hot Rods will recognise that, although it's on the wrong type of car, obviously being on a 206cc. That's not what we'd uh, expect it to be if it were real life. But that's the one which best fitted um, which best fitted the uh, the car shape that we have. So let's uh, give ourselves a quick reminder of the results from heat number one. It's not those, that's for sure. Let's, uh, let's update it, shall we? That's probably going to work a little bit better. Lewis Willis, he took the win in his Tigra. Don Freeman second in the 61 Tigra. Carl Waller Barrett in his Tigra in third. Ben Denyer fourth. Ricky Slater finishing fifth. Barry Casey in sixth. Michael Barber seventh. Wayne Wolsey in eighth. Aaron McGrath in ninth. And Alan, we know him by no other name at the moment, um, in tenth place. Just literally known as Alan. I'll have to try and get his uh, his surname so we can see cars starting to line up on the grid now. So let's bring you back in on the action. So there's Tim Close up the front. Matt Forked next to him. That looks like Tommy Chrome. That's then in behind him and Sean Taylor. Now the guys are all going to start moving. They're going to make their way around to their various grid positions. You see them all creeping through around the outside. It's the bright orange car of uh, Ashley Shaw there, the number 32 car that just got a little bit of a battering on the way past. Let's see who else we've got there. That looks like Smithy's car that we can see there just in the shot. And I'm fairly sure that that is also Derek Martin that we can see there. I'm not sure who's running the cow skin. There is a skin that we have in here at the moment, which um, I'm, I'm going to say is only reminiscent of, a, of an ill cow. Not quite sure what's gone on wrong with that one. Let's have a look around at the grid that we've got from here. Ian Reardon there. And then who else is that going to be? That's Morgan Williams in the 108 car. And then we've got Sean Jacklin back there in the number 11 car. So they're all being called round into their relevant grid positions by Jay Austin, who is our admin for this evening and race control. So you can see from here the field splitting up. Get a view from this camera, it should give us a, a slightly better idea of where everyone's starting to line up as we track around Foxhall Stadium. There's the pace car. Let's hope that that doesn't make a reappearance the same as it did uh, the first time out. Tad's in the 421 car. Looks like he's uh, sitting there on the infield. My camera's doing its own thing. Let's watch the guys as they all head round. So we can expect Tim Close in the 89 car. He is going to be your lead car in this event. So let's find Tim Close and then we can have a nice view back. As I said before, the cars on the infield is myself, Jay, who is uh, admining the event and also Speedworth TV as well. So here we are, riding on board with Tim Close. You can hear them revving now as these guys get ready for the start of heat number two at Ipswich. And away they go. Tim Close, that's not a quick start. He's uh, spinning off of the track already. That's all over the place. Johnny McCoy, 148, has managed to make it through and up into the lead there. Simon, 998, racing that 998 car. We're still watching Tim Close. 
just being pushed around a little bit here. Pushed out wide. That was actually Shaw in the 32 car. Now let's uh, watch as we get back. This is Ryan Wolsey running in the 940 car. Ryan currently running in fifth place. Tommy Chrome behind him. Or it was Tommy Chrome. That looks like Sean Jacklin that's made a move there. It has. Sean Jacklin's up to sixth. Sean Taylor in seventh. And Tommy Chrome is down to eighth already. You start to see some guys making some serious moves there. Sean Jacklin on a red top. So you'd expect him to uh, to be making his way through the field quite nicely, which he is. And let's go back and catch up with our race leaders. Sean Cooney running in first. And he's got Tim Close, who sat nice and close behind him there it's quite impressive bearing in mind this is the guy that we saw disappearing off onto the dirt on the inside of the track on the very first lap as he tucks in behind that 998 car there it's right on board of sean jacklin for a little bit let's go to the overhead cam so you guys can see a little bit more of the track here he is you can see that leading pack ahead of us there's a few car lengths they're being held up there by the looks of things scrapping amongst themselves Simon 998 looks like he might be having a few connection issues he's bouncing about all over the place and we look behind now McFerrin is running in the uh, in the cow <laughs> in the uh, cow car as we're gonna dub it for this evening around the outside on lap 10 now McFerrin up to fourth Sean Jacklin down to fifth. Derek Martin's behind them in the 20. And here we go. You can see, look at this. This front group is all closing up nicely. Closing up very nicely. I'm starting to wonder whether or not that actually is Simon 998 in the 998 car. I'm starting to think it might not be. We're on board with Derek Martin, so I'm wondering if that's Sean Cooney that's in the car that he's just passed there. Let's watch on the timings as we come round. If Derek Martin has jumped up to fourth, then we'll know that's definitely him. He has indeed. It is Sean Cooney, number 921, who's in that 998 yellow car that we've got there. Sean Jacklin in the 11. And here we have a look at the 108 car. That's Morgan Williams running in seventh at the moment. As you can see on the timing screens, there's about 10 seconds now that's separating the top 10 drivers. I think that's going to update in a second. That's more like it. About four or five seconds separating them. I was going to say it's definitely not 10 seconds that's separating those guys. As lap 15 comes to a close, the final results from heat number two are as follows. We've got Simon 998 in first, and Niall McFerrin storming his way through the, uh, the field there. He made his way up to second. Um, third was Tim Close, Derek Martin uh, in fourth, Sean Cooney in the 921 car once we actually worked out what he was in there, Sean Jacklin then in sixth, Morgan Williams in the 108-206cc uh, finished in seventh. Ian Reardon finishing in 8th. And they're pulling everyone out before we've uh, managed to get the, the full listings of where everyone finished in that heat there. So I'll have to go back to that. I'll have to let the uh, 
the admins know not to pull everyone out of server quite so quickly. I can definitely tell you Simon Kennedy took the win in the Tigra. Noel McFerrin was second in the 206. Tim Close was third in the course. So Derek Martin fourth in the number 20 Tigra. Sean Cooney finishing in fifth. Sean Jacklin in sixth. Morgan Williams in seventh. And that's as far as we got before the admins decided that they were going to pull everyone out of the server. And that is heat number two. The guys are already going to start coming back in for heat number three. Well, I was supposed to have Sarah Austin in with me tonight, but things are very quiet on that side of things. I think she's just leaving me to uh, to flounder all by myself. But I hope everyone is enjoying the coverage that we're having so far. Sorry, I've only really seen chat in YouTube. It's kind of difficult sort of jumping between both YouTube and Facebook. In case you guys didn't know, you can find us on both of our uh, YouTube and our Facebook web pages. Just search for online oval racing in either of those. So here we go, we're uh, just setting up for heat number three. Let's uh, get a little bit of an idea of who is going to be in heat number three. So your white tops for this one, King Womble, Alan's out again, Dom Freeman in that 61 car is out again. And uh, Tommy Chrome in the in his car is also out in a white top. Tim Close in the 89 car is out again. He's a white top. Boy of Ben number 149 rounds out your whites. Pecky in the 206. Chris Crane, Lewis Willisey, and FM Racing 17 are your yellow tops as graded tonight. Sean Taylor, uh, Ashley Shaw in the 32 car. I think that's. Uh, Johnny McCoy in the 148 and Aaron McGrath are your blue tops. And uh, a little intrigued. Some of these guys seem to be herring around the track already. There's still a lot of people on the infield. There's obviously people coming straight into the server and deciding that they want to try and put some laps in straight out. So. We won't go and jump over to that because it's not the start of a race yet while the admins are sorting everything out. So your red tops for this event. Willie Hardy in the 972 car. Smithy in the 565s. BDR867. Barry Casey in the 961. Barber 296. Nile McFerrin. Craig Slater. And Ricky Slater are your superstars for this event. Why do I get a horrible feeling that they've started this when they really shouldn't have? No, they haven't. Well, that was reassuring. I was thinking that you guys were missing out on all of the action. But no, thankfully not. As you can see, it's all, uh, it's all looking quiet as everything resets. And we begin heat. Number three of the online Oval National Hot Rod uh, racing here at Ipswich tonight. Let's see if we can't catch up on some of the uh, some of the Facebook comments. Clive Merchant, keep off the grass. Not entirely sure who that was aimed at. There's been a couple of guys that have had there. Chris Wilkinson, yes, Sean Taylor is racing. You'll see him in the car that looks pretty much exactly like the one he races in real life. He's in the 152. The only thing is, is that it is a uh, 206cc this time, rather than being a, uh, a Tigra that he's in in real life. Let me just wait for everyone to get sorted out as they come in for heat number three. 
how can we play? Jamba and I've said uh, you have to get the game R factor, and um, when you get that, you can also download some mods. Easiest way to find out is have a look down through the page, and you'll see there's a lot of people that describe how you can play it. Uh, Callum, I'm guessing you should have your engine sounds on the feed now, anyway. And uh, yeah, so away we go. Sorting out for heat number three. And we're starting to get everyone in the session now. Let's see if we can't take you on a tour of some of these cars while we uh, while we're waiting. Might be a little bit jittery, but you know what? We're going to give it a go. It'll give you guys a chance to see the cars just before they all move out to line up. There's Mr. Cannonball himself in the number 95 car. That over there in the cow car, as we've decided that we're going to nickname it. Is uh, Noel McFerrin had a very good uh, race last time out. He was uh, he was making some moves. Ricky Slater over there in the 102 car, and uh, you can also see Lewis Willis. Let's see what other cars we can jump round to. This is King Womble in his mini. He's one of the few people, other than uh, Craig Durant next to him, who's actually running the mini in this event. Tigra by far and away being the most popular car that you'll see out there. Pan around the field. It's a little bit jerky having to do it this way because we're having to manually uh, control the camera. We'll just wait for guys to sort things out. The session is currently set in warm up at the moment, so it's still not set to a race. So we're not going to see anyone do anything. I've got a feeling that the admins have probably got everyone just to wait at the moment because people were absolutely hairing off the second they got into the server here we go leave the grid now as we go into a race or we will be going into a race rather king one will win the 23 mini there we're saying as uh, he's one of the only two people i think running the mini in this you can see craig durant's car there and uh, let's have a look. TD867 in that very bright green car. You're not going to miss him in a hurry. Some of the guys making a real meal of uh, getting past the other cars. There's Tim Close that we see going past there. So you can ignore the sound of that klaxon. That's not what we're using to start the races here. Just because everyone's going to be graded. So watch as these guys are heading round. You see these guys still back here waiting to be called into their positions. Noel McFerrin's going to be waiting quite some time. Being in the superstar group. He's definitely one to keep an eye on. Barry Casey, I think, is on the outside there in the other online oval racing. Uh, looks like a Tigra that is in green. We've got Lewis Willisey set up just behind Niall. Ricky Slater in the outside in that dark black Peugeot. You can't miss that. The speed he's been driving it, though, you, you probably could miss it if you blink too quickly. Matthew Burgess in the number 287. Mr. Budgie himself. He's sat there. Let's uh, turn that off so that I don't end up knocking the camera. Making you all feel seasick. And then we've got the 57 car. That's uh, Aaron McGrath. And then QE himself was there in the 174 car I'm not entirely sure 
why everyone has now disappeared. It looks like they're having some server issues. hear all those uh, little beeps and that going on in the background that's just as the server's doing various things but it's um it's gone into a practice session at the moment which isn't ideal this is michael barber that we're watching we'll just uh we'll watch him for the moment just while he's running some laps let's just see what these guys see while they're in the cars oh no okay we won't the admins have decided they want to cut that one short See lots of Wolseys in chat. Out in support. Now let's see if we can actually get this started proper for heat number three this time. Here we go. All non-essential personnel off the track now. This time round we should get to going. Here we go. Look, we can see cars out here. They're going to have to form up again. It's going to be a bit of a pain. The joys of things that you get in online racing that you don't in real world lace in real world lacing racing. Let's try with racing. That's probably a better one. Ben Denyer in that 149 sack. So that's another car that's not been hugely popular. Let's see if we can get a better look at that. There he is there. Not a hugely popular car. The Saxo by comparison to the Tigra. Definitely more people have been running the Tigra. see the cars all making their way round to their various positions. It's Dom Freeman in the 61 car that you can see on the inside there. We pan back round. Lewis Willisey. He's going to be one of your yellow tops, so he's going to be fairly near the front. And uh, we're going to be looking, in fact, let's, what are they doing here on the server, guys? I can only apologise for this because we've been, what looks like, ready for the start of the race about three times. Here we go. So we're on board with King Womble. Now, this is our guy who should be sat on pole for this event. So we'll soon see if this works out. He should basically head all the way around the track, back round to the starting line, and pull up short there. Or at least he would do if this wasn't another practice session. We might have to uh, jump in and have a quick word with uh, some of the admins and find out what's happening there's obviously been a few issues that people are having evening gav and everybody listening just there she is joining in late my fridge freezer decided to break just as i was going to walk up to uh, to go on the computer and get ready to come and join the nice. so there we go my partner in crime for this evening so sarah's in with us so more, I mean, most importantly, is the fridge freezer sorted? Well, I've been ramming food everywhere we wouldn't believe. I've been choosing food for the rest of the family for tomorrow. So, um, <laughs> yeah, and the rest has gone in the bin. So, uh, yeah, when I, when we finish this, I've got to go and start cooking a load of chicken off. <laughs> nice. So we've got Sarah in with us for uh, hopefully the rest of the evening now until she uh, needs to start cooking chicken. I mean, I'm not entirely sure what's happening at the moment, Sarah. I think we've we've attempted to have the start of race three about this has got to be the fourth time, maybe. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, like it. I think they're having some issues. Um, they've had to reset the weekend, um, which is sort of reset the, the heat as such quite a few times from what I'm hearing on the admin stream. Fair enough. 
so that's not ideal but we will get back down to racing soon as i've said before you guys this is king wombling the number 23 mini there pole sitter in this race as a white top We should have Alan 959. You can see him there in that number 14 car. Sat just behind him. Dom Freeman in the 61 car then behind that. And, uh, he's pulling up there. Tommy Chrome is then sat just inside. Let's pan back to see who else we've got in the grid. Michael Barber. We've seen him a few times this evening. And of course, at the moment, we can't miss Niall Ferran. In what we've we've come to nickname this the cow car, Sarah. Simply because I that's see. that's all I can think that this. Let's see if we can we can get a better shot from someone who's in front of it. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get around to someone who's in front of it. Just sort of make that out there. Niall uh, Niall Ferran in that one. I think that's a problem at our end. I don't think that car was supposed to look like that. I it's, don't know, is that blue? No, that's blue, isn't it? It's not black. It's, it's blue. blue, so I mean, if yeah. it was a cow, it would be a very sick cow, but... I must say, good work to those of you who have been working on the, on the skins of these cars. Yeah, there's some... Few, there was a few cars going around in the same colours for the last couple of test uh, runs that we've done, so it's lovely to see some different skins and some of the drivers in their own colours, so that's it's really nice to see, so well done. Yeah, guys, it is on that. looking very good. As we watch the guys up at the front of the field. In fact, some of the uh, some of the guys are actually racing. Let's have a look who's in this event. I don't think we've got any of the guys who did the uh, did the racing in here at the moment. As we uh, let's ride on board. We'll we'll ride on board with the with the front pack so that we can look back at the start of the event. Nice to get some feedback from some of our viewers also on what they're thinking of the, the groups of the colour groups that we used to Ooh, see. Oh, and that's straight before. off there. Oh, wow. Off we go. That's one way to start, isn't that's it? That's definitely an eventful start. Lewis Willisie we're watching now in the 144 car. He's making moves for first place. Sean Taylor at the moment is showing in second. We'll have to wait and see if that's right and whether or not that's going to update or whether or not that 566 car is actually in front of him here he's up giving him a little rub as they come around into the corner there Sean Taylor showing in second in that 152 car there behind him Mr. Cannonball himself in the 95 car has just been passed by Noel McFerrin look at this guy go he's absolutely flying or he was he is the flying cow tagged from the inside there that's push Nile out wide and I'm pretty sure that's Barry Casey number 961 in the online oval racing car behind him we've got Aaron McGrath in the uh, 57 pulling up behind that this is a, a bit of an action packed little group I think we'll stay with this one just for a little while let's ride on board with Nile McFerrin at the moment Oh, there's lots of little bits of contact. Aaron McGrath moved up in that little group. There's Ricky Slater in the background. He's making moves as well. He's been quick in nearly every session that I've seen him. Oh, nice shunting going on there. There was a little shunt. I just saw someone go round out the uh, out the corner of the thing. And um, what would probably help people a little bit is if I actually put. The, um, the position tower on. We're eight laps into this race already. Lewis Willis is in first in the 144. Sean Taylor is second. Gavin, Mr. Cannonball himself, yeah, lost a place just is then. in third. He's just lost that position to Niall McFerrin. He's now in fourth. Aaron McGrath in fifth. Ricky Slater in sixth. Barry Casey in the 961 car in seventh. Michael Barber in eighth. Willie Hardy in the 972. And Dom Freeman in that 61 car rounds out the top 10 as we see it so far watch this little group because i think we're going to see ricky slater definitely making up some places he's going to have a bit of a battle with gavin in front how are these guys going to deal with getting around sam i think this is his this is his first sort of real 
real outing on the ovals. He came out for the test meetings. Yeah, you can see he's just going backwards. Look at the uh, the, the guys with more experience and just absolutely flying by him there. As I said in an earlier heat, that's the difference that you start to notice. It's easy to get lap times in the same second as a lot of these quick guys, but half a second and more over laps these short is an absolutely huge difference. Oh, Sean Taylor's just lost his second place then to Mc McFarren, so uh, he's just Let's... gained another place. Here we go. Let's see if we can catch up with them at the front. Have to scroll through some of the other cars, unfortunately. There's Lewis. He's still in first place at the moment. Seven second gap to Niall McFerrin behind him. I mean, Niall has been absolutely flying, but there's still a seven second gap. That's very consistent from Lewis to have pulled out that big a gap at the front. Ricky Slater has now gone past Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor in fourth. Ricky Slater has passed him in that 102 car. And Cannonball's all the way back down to seventh now. He was a front runner in the early stages. So I'll have to see what's happened there. That's 15 of 15. So we've got... Ah, oh, and Spinner's right at the end there. I'm not sure <laughs> you spotted that one, Gav. No, that's always fun when you catch that happening. Let's see how this one finished in the end. So the results as we see them. Lewis Willisey, Niall McFerrin, Ricky Slater, Sean Taylor, Aaron McGrath, Barry Casey, Gavin Murray, Michael Barber, Barry Casey and Dom Freeman rounds out your top 10 for this heat number three which finally got underway took a few times to get it started but we got there in the end and that's all that matters you can see on the screen now as we confirm all of those results for this heat number three tigra at the top of the board in fact you look in this heat and there's not as many tigras as uh, as we've seen in some of the others Quite a few 206s no, in here. No, definitely not. There's, there's quite a mixture of cars in this one, isn't there? That's actually quite a nice mix for uh, for a change. I, I know having seen from some of the painters, there was a lot of Tigras being uh, requested. Definitely a, a car of choice. Now, people are saying that your volume is a little bit quiet, Sarah. So let's see if I can turn you up the people deserve to hear what you have to say let's tell you nobody's ever said i'm quiet so that's got to be a first <laughs> that's what jay was doing with the uh, with the microphone when he was setting it up in the beginning he said he said he was trying to make it so that we couldn't we couldn't hear jay because uh, they're obviously in the same room jay sorting out his admin bits and pieces in the background and uh, he said he was so he was trying to sort it so that we couldn't hear Jay. I think what he's secretly done is he's just turned Sarah down. That's that's not on. We'll have words. If only he could do that in real life, I bet is what he's going to think when he <laughs> listens to this back later on tonight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the other day he was asking for a, a button so that you could be muted in, in real life as, as you can on the computer. But Yeah, I do seem to recall that actually. Now you say <laughs> that, Gav. You got anything you can throw at him? You've got to be within throwing distance of him. Yeah, I've got a whole computer in front of me. Will that do? Yeah, seem, seems like it's a, a valid idea. Right, so we're going into heat number four. And who is going to be racing in heat number four? Let's have a quick look. We've got Sean Cooney, number 921. And uh, who else is on the whites? We've got Woodcock in the 44. He'll be lining up beside him. And then behind that is Ronan OB715 on the second row with Snoopy MSNG846 and rounding off your whites are oh, Simon998 if you want to take us through the, through the yellows gap. You've got some people who are trying with some, some really bizarre online names just to uh, just to try and catch us out as to who it exactly is, haven't you? So we've got Mr Matthew Burgess, Budgie himself is the first of our yellow tops and Yannick Kilansky. I'm apologising now if I'm murdering your surname. Ryan Wolsey and Fawkes46 round out your yellows. Do you want to take the blues then, Sarah? 
Yep, so we've got of the famous family of the Woolseys, this is Wayne in this one in the blues, front of the blues. Then lining up alongside him is Craig Durrant. Then we've got Tad's Gaming, who is one of our admin men, so we've got to watch him out. Oh, and Cannonball is back in this one, so Gavin Murray back in this one. Uh, if you want to take us through through the Reds, Gav, because I've got some news when we get to the superstars. Oh, now this is interesting. I'm looking forward to this already. We've got Johnny Hammond. Uh, in the number 50. I think he's actually running a Wolsey painted car, is Johnny Hammond. Um, and who else have we got? Sean Jacklin. Uh, Ian Reardon is in there as well as Morgan Williams 108, rounding out your red tops. So here can be superstars. So we have got Mr. Jason Q, QE174, as he's better known. Then we should have had next to uh, QE, we should have had lining up in the superstars, Adam Maxwell. But I've just been told in my ear that he has got issues. So Adam is out, unfortunately, for the rest of the night. We have then got Carl162, who's a regular in the National Hot Rod uh, Forum, Carl uh, Walla Barrett. And Ryan, rounding them off is Irishman Derek Martin. So that is your grid for Heat 4. Rounding that off. So it's a shame about Adam. Adam has been consistently quick in uh, in every event that I've seen him in. So it's uh, going to be interesting to see who from those superstars there actually managed to, to really make their way forward. QE's been quite quick. Any, any thoughts from you, Sarah? Yeah, definitely a shame to, to lose Adam Maxwell. He He's really, really also enjoying the racing. I know all these guys are desperately missing being out on track in real life. So having this way to, to race has given them something else to think about, apart from homeschooling and uh, dealing with the children and, and the partners all, all through the day, 24-7 at the moment. So, yeah, it's a shame to, to lose Adam. But um, be interesting to see some of the drivers coming through. Obviously... Gavin Murray in the back of the blues, he did lose some spots in the last race, so let's see if he can get more to grips, and uh, maybe Wayne Wolsey I might give a little shout out to, let's see how he goes. Yeah, definitely, They've he's predominantly been uh, pretty strong, him and Ryan both racing, they've, they've both been running quite strong in what I've seen in various practice events. Uh, Johnny Hammond, you can see here, and I was right actually, he is running in a Wolsey coloured car there, let's see if... Uh, is he about to move? No, he's staying pretty put. Well, um, we're not really going to be able to see too much of it from this camera either. But he's running in a Wolsey, uh, in a Wolsey paint skin there. Now, that I think is going to be Sean. Is that Sean Cooney or Sean, Sean Cooney running in? No, Sean Cooney is over there. He's running in the yellow car. There goes Tad's gaming in the four-two-one. Let's see if anyone else from this group is going to be making moves. No, but it looks like Johnny Hammond is, so we'll be able to get a better look at that 50 car as he goes past. That's a nice bright paint scheme, isn't it? That's nice one of, um, I'm pretty sure that's, that is, that's one of Wayne's cars, um, ironically enough. I don't know what, um, we'll have to have a look and see what Wayne's running. I think Wayne actually may be, ironically enough, in one of the, um, the sort of default skins. While uh, someone else is running in one of his cars. It's always interesting to see. Ian Reardon there in the 142 car. And then Smithy in the 565 car there. We carry on heading round. Mr. Carl Waller Barrett is there in the 162 car. Oh dear, that's not ideal on your formation, so, is it, to bash into your uh, friends? A little bit of a bash there with uh, with Derek Martin. What's a little bit of paint between friends? If you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing, Gav. That's the one. That's the one. I'm wondering if any of our, wonder if there's any younger viewers out there that are watching this that just won't get that reference. Be worrying, wouldn't it? Probably. It's got to be 20 odd years back now, surely. <laughs> so here we go. They are underway. Simon in the 998 car has made a good start. He's uh, already pulled a good couple of car lengths. That's Tim Close behind him in the 89 car. Just got to wait for the uh, the timing to catch up, and that will show that they are in that order. We can well see it on screen at the moment. Here they are coming over the timing line now, so you should see that change. Should. And as predicted, Wayne Wolsey has uh, done quite a good whole shot in that first couple of laps. So, He's definitely. Um, He's flown up to I haven't given him fourth already. Case. That was Tad's Gaming that we saw sideways in the wall there. 
This is Tim Close in the 89 car that we're with now. It's still showing him in first, which is interesting. Because from what I've seen, unless he's making up ground down this straight here, there's definitely a bit of uh, nudging between him and Simon. Yeah, they've got to watch out, though. There's a Wolsey coming through. There is. Ryan Wolsey. That's, uh, in fact, you know what? Let's ride on board with Ryan Wolsey. A little bit of a tag into the back of uh, Tim Close there. He's just giving himself a little bit of space up the inside. Watch him get later on the brakes here. You can guarantee that. There we go. Ryan Wolsey already up to third. In fact, I'm showing him up to second. So um, there's definitely a car in this group. Let's, um, let's cheat for a second. That's Sean Cooney in the 921 car that was completely throwing us off there. So he was not part of that leading group whatsoever. Oh, so I've now got go. Simon, who's in the 998 car here, which is painted up right. That's good. Behind him, we've got Ryan Wolsey in the 940 car, running in a Gary Wolsey. And look at that, Tim Close. I wasn't expecting him to be fighting with him. But he's definitely have a look back up the inside there. Yeah, he was giving a nudge, just letting him know that he's there, isn't he? Yeah, he's letting him know that he, he definitely hasn't lost him. Behind those, Sean Jacklin in the number 11 car. And then we have another Wolsey behind him in the online oval racing car. That's Wayne Wolsey in the uh, 950. He's getting a little nudge there from Ian Reardon. And Morgan Williams is behind them in his 108 car. Derek Martin's dropped right back down the order. In fact, no, he hasn't. He's made up a fair bit of ground. What am I on about? Derek yeah, Martin's starting as one of the superstars. Stars, he gets yeah. up the inside of Morgan That's Williams bad. there. He's definitely going to know that he was there. That's Derek Martin that we can see ahead of us now. We're riding on board with Morgan Williams. He's got Gavin right behind him. Let's see if we can uh, take a little look back. There is Gavin. Let's see how that gap closes in. Ninth place. You'd like to hope that Gavin would know this track, being a regular at Ipswich. Well, I'm not quite sure. It'd be interesting to know from the drivers how realistic it is, though, to, to go around the actual tracks. That's the thing. You'd, I mean, and that's that's one of the big things that you will notice that all these guys will will have different that you can't you just can't simulate in sim race, and it doesn't matter how much money you seem to spend on equipment, it's never going to feel the same as it does in a real car. It's never going to feel quite the same. You're just not going to get the same sort of feedback because that was Morgan Williams trying it up the inside there. Didn't quite work. There's Gavin. Let's go forward. Ian Reardon. Derek Martin in sixth. And Ryan Woolsey seems to have dropped. It does seem to have dropped forward. down. That looks. Is that Wayne? Up to third. That's yeah, Wayne, Wayne and Ryan, Ryan attacking each other on the outside of the wall there. How did that actually finish in the end? Because that was the end of the race there. So we've got. Simon, uh, in the 998 car, was uh, was your winner that time round. Tim Close finishing in second in the 89 car. I wasn't expecting uh, him to do as well as he did there, I'll be honest. And then we've got Ryan Wolsey in the 940. Wayne in the 950. And it looks like, again... They've decided that they want to start taking people out of the server before I've had a chance to even get all of the results across. We've got Carl 162, Carl Waller Barrett. He was a superstar, so he's uh, he's coming through from right at the back. He had to done. To do a really good finish, really good drive from him. That was. We'll have to um, definitely get the guys, uh, the admin guys, just to slow down on the time it is kicking people out at the end. But um, they've got a pretty tough job trying to get everyone out and trying to get everyone in. That was an interesting one, though, right at the very end there, watching Ryan and Wayne Wolsey uh, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Ryan, I think, wasn't he up to second at one point? It's obviously, it's obviously something that's happened there. Yeah, sort of, as we were going further back, second or third, wasn't he? Definitely up to third. He was definitely up in, uh, in a podium position, so... We'll, uh, we'll wait and see what happens. And while we do, so that was um, that was heat number four that we've uh, we've gone through there. So we're heading on in to heat number five. So 
let's take everyone through. You've probably heard a lot of the names already, but let's actually uh, take people through who is racing in this one. Sitting on pole, we're going to have Dom Freeman in the number 61 car, and Boy of Ben is going to be alongside him in the 149. Snoopy MSNG, uh, definitely a name that's trying to keep us on our toes, and the 846 is going to be behind them, along with Alan in the 959 car. Woodcock 44, and then Sean Cooney, is out again in the 921. I'm going to have to remember that he's actually running that yellow 998 car. He rounds out the white tops. So moving into yellows, we've got Superstop 144. Ryan Wolsey is back out again in this race, having uh, done really well in, in the last races we've just been watching. And we've got Forks 46 and FM Racing 17. He's been an interesting character, is all I'm going to say about him during some of our test sessions. That's your, your yellow group. That's, you, please, that's yeah, he's, he's been one of a few people have, uh, have had things to say about. So he's going to be one to watch. He's been quite quick when he's been running. It's just, I think, some of the... Uh, some of the moves he's been making have been a little bit questionable. AS Racing in the 32 in the bright orange car. You won't miss him. Aaron McGrind, the 57. Uh, Craig Durant running one of two minis that are out in uh, in this event, and then Tad's Gaming round out the blue tops. Moving into the red, so I haven't got all the names here, unfortunately. So That's I'm really Sean Jacklin. <laughs> yeah, Sean. Yeah, I was just trying to think. I know, knew it wasn't Sean Taylor. So yeah, we've got Sean Jacklin, Barry Casey nine six one, Willie Hardy. He should be an interesting one to watch out in nine seven two. And then the back of the red group, we've got Ian Riordan. And over to you for the supers. And don't forget, unfortunately, we are missing Adam Maxwell. Yeah, He's we're going to... difficulty with his, his computer tonight, so we have lost him, unfortunately. Going to be missing him from heat number five as well. We've got Ricky Slater in the uh, in his very shiny black. Uh, I think it's a Tigra that he's running in. Uh, Barber 296, you won't miss him. He's in the blue and orange. Adam Maxwell should have then been uh, running out in his car unfortunately as sarah just said he's having issues with his computer this evening so we won't see him for the rest of the night which is a, a big shame and derek martin is out again in the number 20 car he is going to round out your superstars for heat number five this evening so i'm gonna have a, a quick look at what's uh what's happening out on track as uh as all these guys are starting to starting to line up Starting to get ready. I can just hear the admins are just calling them into order now, so uh, should hopefully be underway fairly soon. It's always uh, interesting to watch and see how many of these guys manage to get past all of their colleagues without giving them a little nudge. <laughs> There's another nice paint skin skin there. The that's 72, if... white and yellow. And that's Quite Woolly. Like that. Yeah, that's, um, that's Woolly in that 72 car there. I actually quite it's different like. Definitely see seeing everybody in this in their proper skins because, as I say earlier on in the the proceedings, as we've been doing some test sessions, we've had people in various different skins. So it's so nice to see them in their in their own colours, and of course showcasing a lot of their sponsors that they use on their regular race cars. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of these cars that you notice, obviously, they're not based. I mean, we we have got a fair few real national hot rod drivers who are um, who are in and racing with us but some of these guys are racing other formulas and they've got cars which are replicas of what they race in other formulas just put onto national hot rod cars yeah i think that the name superstop 144 might slightly give away what he races <laughs> um and uh young barber he i know he was somebody that we knew from rebels racing so he's a it was a familiar name in rebels for a while yeah, speaking of Superstock 144, that's him there, Mr. Lewis Willisey in that 144 car. A big shout out to him actually. He's churned out some absolutely fantastic skins in the uh, in the run up to this um, event. Some really high quality ones. Let's see uh, who else we've got that's lined up on the grid. Sean Jacklin there in the number 11. And I think. We're getting close to the point of everyone being lined up, so let's try and head round. We'll find Dom Freeman. You'll be able to spot his 61 car a mile off. There it is. <laughs> Looks like a NASCAR, pretty much, doesn't it? It is, it's, but I'm pretty sure that that's actually based on the old... Um, what was it? Jeff Gordon ran the old DuPont racing, didn't he, with the flames down the side, and it had a big DuPont in, the, in a blue circle on the front, so I'm sure that's where 
that's taken its inspiration from. Yeah, it looks nice though, just say it's, it's nice to have these brightly coloured ones and, you know, with the varying skins, you, you know, we, we can't thank enough the guys that have been working hard behind the scenes and yeah, don't definitely. know if any of you saw the video earlier on today um, of building other colours, but here we go, we're, we are off racing. So Don we're off Freeman and down. going, yeah, Don Freeman has pulled away a nice little lead there. Alan uh, 959 was behind. It looks like he's been passed by Ben Denya, who is, as I said, one of the few people running a Saxo in this series. They come round again. Alan 959 has dropped back down to third. There is our Wolsey straight away. Look at that. Up to third already, yeah, and he's making moves. Just looking at that, Gav. Just looking at that. <laughs> You can't miss that. And there's Lewis Willisey. He's already won an event so far this evening, so he's definitely one to watch in that 144 car. In fact, let's stay with this group for definite. Look at these guys pulling out a uh, pulling out a gap already. Ryan and Lewis is right on board with these guys. So we're on board with Lewis at the moment. They're pa coming past Craig Durant in the number 84 Mini, and I've just pressed a button, and I'm regretting that instantly. So now we're back on board with Craig. You can see Lewis in front, and then in front of him is Ryan Wolsey, who is on an absolute charge. Look at the gap that they've managed to... Uh, they've just absolutely carved into that gap that Don Freeman pulled away from the start. What is the camera well, doing? I've just been told we have got Adam Maxwell back in, apparently. So he did make it back in for this one, which is great to see. Oh, actually, I, yeah, I can see him. He's running in 12th at the moment. Derek Martin is shooting up. He was a very back of the grid. He's now 8th. See if we can go down and we can uh, catch up on that one. So Don Freeman still managing at the moment to hold on to first place as uh, we start lap number 8 of 15. Ryan Wolsey's giving him a little nudge, just letting him know that he's there. I think it's only going to be a matter of time before that 940. And the 144 makes a dive up the inside. He's going to take two in one. Not quite. Lewis then makes... He's going to finish it off next time around the corner, surely. As that is oh, a shame. Dom good. Freeman yeah. spinning out there. Go on, Dom. Yeah, back on. Back joining on. Back on, just in front of Derek Martin in the 20 car. Yeah, that was unfortunate because obviously Derek's on a flyer, isn't he? He is now up to f up to fourth. My yeah. goodness, from back really of the grid making up to moves. Fourth. And he's been tagged there. That's uh, Sean Jacklin, I think, that just caught him there. And Sean Jacklin hits the tires, and that was him picked up oh. and thrown into is the wall there. That's the a Slater. That's Ricky Slater there, who's uh, capitalised on that a little bit. And Ben Denyer, I'm pretty sure I just saw disappear off onto the infield just then as well. Oh, Woolley gets tagged a little bit. I don't know whether Sean Jacklin's going to have picked up any damage from that a minute ago, but Woolley gives him a little nudge going into that corner just to uh, say thank you for the uh, for the earlier rub. That's getting tighter at the front, Gav. There's a, a... 0.3 second gap from... So, the, let's have a look. There's Dom Freeman, guys. so... If we look up in front there, there's Derek Martin. As you've said, he's been on an absolute charge. Look at him. He's there behind um, Craig Durant at the moment, trying to pass him. He's one of the back markers that he's going past. Let's see if we can carry on further forward. There's Ryan. Where's Lewis gone? Oh. He's still out in front. Getting he's a little a bit sideways there. So let's head back a little bit here. We're riding on board. With the number 940, Ryan Wolsey and Derek Martin, who has been making moves all race, is uh, up to third. And let's uh, let's watch this one here. Lap 15, so that's just gone and completed. Just missed out on that. I think Derek Martin could have had a, uh, a pretty good shot at second place in that event. If yeah, uh, that, that had gone on an amazing any longer. flyer, though, by Martin, to be fair to him. He was back of the grid again for that one. Back of the superstars. Very last car, up to third. That was a flyer. Well yeah. done. It's uh, definitely been some uh, real storming performances. So let's see if we can get down the top ten for this event. Shout out again to Ryan Wolsey. He had another good flyer after a good solid race in the fourth heat. Heat five proved to be just as rewarding for him. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to be going into the final um, 
it's going to be the final heat and um, after that we've got the B final so I'm not entirely sure how they're working out who's going into the B final is that the what is that 10th down to 20th in the points overall for the evening I think that's the intention when we were discussing it the other night after the, the second test run so I'll, I'll see if I can listen into the admins chat whilst uh, whilst we're just prepping for this heat six. So let's see if we can't give you the results for heat number five. Let's uh, just bring those up. So Lewis Willisey, that's his second win of the evening in that 144 Tigre. He's been very consistent. Once he gets, uh, he's quick, and then once he gets out front, he's um, he's managing to hold on to it pretty nicely, especially when you consider that Ryan Wolsey is the guy behind him, also in a Tigre. Don Freeman missed out on uh, he was he was leading the race for so long, and then he had that that little spin. Only dropped a third in the end, which isn't too bad. Michael Barber in the sack zone fourth. Aaron McGrath in the course up, back in fifth. Ricky Slater in his 206cc was in sixth. Sean Jacklin in the number 11 Tigra in seventh. Alan 959, I'll have to double check what car he's running in at the moment, in eighth. Uh, Barry Casey in the 961 in the Corsa. And then Forks 46 rounding out the top 10 for heat number five. Next up we have heat number six. It's going to be the final heat before we go into the B final. And uh, let's have a let's have a little nosy at who's going to be running in this heat then, shall we, Sarah? I'll take a look to begin with at your white cars. So we've got Ronan OB715 leading. He'll be on pole for this one. Crusher Chrome 66 is going to be lining up alongside him on the first row. Behind there is King Womble, who I know did really well at the, earlier on in the evening. Then we've got Simon998 and Tim89 rounding off the whites. And we've got Yannick Kalansky and Chris Crane. I don't know if Chris Crane's actually made it into race this evening. I haven't seen him. He's got a pretty distinctive uh, green number 15 car. Um, so we'll have to have a look and see whether or not Chris has actually made it out into uh, any of the heats this evening. I know he was having issues. He was um, on the phone with Virgin for earlier on today. Pecky 412 in the replica of the 205 on the 206. And Matthew Burgess, Budgie himself, rounds out the yellows. So taking you through to the blues, we've got Johan 148, who'll be the leader of the pack. Followed by Sean Taylor 152. Then, oh, this is going to be a close one, two great mates together. So uh, Gavin Murray, the cannonball himself, is going to be uh, the number three in the blue group. And Wayne Woolsey will round off your blues for this last That's going to be an interesting group for us to watch as those guys get underway there, as you said, especially with Gavin and Sean. We've got Morgan Williams in his 108 car. Uh, Smithy 565. BD in the bright green 867. I think that's a Peugeot he's running. And then I've completely lost where I am. Ah, Johnny Hammond in the number 50 in the Wolsey, but not a Wolsey car, rounding out the reds. Try and get that in your commentary, in a Wolsey, but not a Wolsey car. <laughs> Wolsey, but not a Wolsey car, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so this is your last lot of superstars for this evening, for the, the heats at least. So we've got McFerrin, 910. Carl Waller Barrett, 162. Jason QEQ, 174. And Craig Slater has gone into the back of the Superstars for Heat 6. So I think the guys are now coming into line up by the sounds of things. That's uh, the impression that I got. So we can uh, start looking at jumping over and seeing these guys line up on the track. Let's uh, see if we can find... Who do we say is going to be running on pole this one? We're looking for Ronan O'Brien. He's in... Another, he's another one in a very bright green car, and uh, there'll be a few of them then. You'll you'll see it in the centre of the screen there. You can't miss that. That's um that's very green. That's based on um that's based on a micro, I think it was. He races micros in uh, in real life. He's not in the national hot rods, but um 
Yeah, but so how nice to the... welcome guys who aren't regular hot rod racers but coming to join us in the, the hot rod on online forum. Definitely. Really, really nice to, to welcome all these other guys into into the hot rod scene. Definitely. So yeah, we've got him. Uh, you can see Mr. King Womble himself in the 23 mini. One of, uh, as we've said before, only two minis running in the event that we've got this evening. And Tim Close in that kind of gunmetal grey. I quite like that car actually in the the gunmetal grey on the outside, the number 89. And uh, yeah, not not a mad fan. Must be, must be honest. My favourite colour is green, so uh, I'm I'm liking Ronan OB 715's colours definitely. Well, yeah, you're definitely not going to miss that in a hurry. And uh, that's got to be that's got to be Simon in the 998 car. Just uh, creeping yeah, just in the back to join there. This last this first group for this last heat so just got tim 89 that we just need to join this this first group uh, no tim's in the gunmetal gray car so i wonder who else we're missing we're we missing the 846 car i think it looks like yeah, good spot there gav good spot watch you see the other cars seem to be making their way forward so we'll make our way back round to the leading pack off they go for the formations and there we go there's gavin admins are just giving a shout out to those trying to warm up their tires saying obviously it makes <laughs> no difference on a computer <laughs> that's uh, always interesting to see people weaving and uh, and wheel spinning so we're sat on top of king womble's car looking back for the start of this race you can see tim close and uh if i take control of the camera quickly we can have a look around and you can and see off they go. They are off. there we it go there's the o'brien car up the inside tim close is having a look he's passed up the inside too he's into second place now let's watch this leading group yeah, that so was tim definitely a nudge, yeah. O'Brien's lost out there big time as now. Yeah, he's, he's uh, at the end of this corner. A bit of a uh, bit of nudging between him and King Womble, and uh, Simon Nine Nine Eight's pushing his way through as well. He sat that right. Was a little bit harsh, yeah. On the back of that mini. Ronan O'Brien's just disappearing backwards. Let's uh, catch up with uh, Tim Close. And then further out Huey's made there. a striking start by the looks of it. He's up to 8th already. It's amazing. And Carl Wallabar up to 6th there from the Superstar group, right from the back there. So they've done really well. Gavin Murray's also on a flyer. He's up to 3rd. Oh, timing's disappeared off for a second there. It looks like we've got them back. So two of the blues, the Cannonball, man himself, Gavin Murray and Wayne Woolsey, who are both sort of fairly sort of mid-pack, and they're up to second and third. So Just really watching that pack at the moment. Carl Waller Barrett's in the middle of that pack as well, by the looks of things. There's Qe, and the camera is having a bit of a mare. Who's that? That's uh, Johnny Hammond that's off on the infield there. What oh, was... That was uh, interesting there. That was um, very interesting from Smithy565. He's ended up on his roof. At least with online racing, we know that all the drivers are okay after a crash like that. Yeah, we're not having to, to worry about their uh, their safety, not unless they've uh, paid a huge amount of money and they're in one of those fancy full motion rigs, which I doubt any of these guys are, to be honest. Oh, Oops. yeah, a bit like the F1 guys have been doing, yeah. Yeah. So Simon998, uh, who's running out in front. Look, he's already caught up with uh, Ronan O'Brien. Slip right down the uh, down the order there as we watch the lead cars coming round. That's Wayne Woolsey, who's just, I think, gave Simon a little nudge, and he ended up in the tyres. So is that why, that's got to be Wayne that's now... Uh, Wayne that's now picked up the lead. Niall McFerrin's also going to have uh, taken advantage of that. He's now running in second. I don't know what's happened to Gavin Murray Cannibal. He's gone down to seventh. He was right up there in the mix in third, but he's back in seventh now. 
He was um, he looked like he was flying at one point. Carwell Barrett in the 162 cars moved up to third. Simon, even after hitting that tyre, has only dropped down to fourth. Oh, Carl's just had a moment himself by the looks of things. That looked like he did. Just wait for the timing screen to update. There's QE. Who's running in fifth. I think we just saw uh, just saw Ronan O'Brien getting sideways heading into the corner just then a second ago. So here we go. Lap 14. We come round to cross the line now. And would you look at that? Look at that name on top of the pile, Sarah. <laughs> what did I say? Definitely always one to watch out for. So the results as we have them for you. Wayne Woolsey in the 950 in first. Niall McFerrin, um, who has also been having an absolute blinder this evening, um, finished in second. Carl Waller Barrett in the 162. Rounding out the top three. Jason Q in his uh, 174 car. Mr. Qe himself in fifth. Morgan Williams, 108. And then 95, Gavin Murray Cannonball himself in seventh. Tim Close in the 89 car is in eighth. And Ronan O'Brien ended up finishing ninth. Which um, wasn't too horrendous, bearing in mind he was uh, he was getting pushed out wide at the start, so he's he's done fairly well there. And then yes, fairly new guy to the scene as well, so um, you know the more laps these guys get under their belts, as in real life, the, the better they'll get. Definitely, Sam Nelson's had a uh, had a cracker of a race there. The number twenty three guy, the first real race that he uh, he did in anything like this was our test event that we had, and that was only a week ago. And he's finished out 10th from uh, starting in the uh, the white tops. So let's see if we can go through and pull up the full results in the end for that one. So first place, as we saw, Wayne Wolsey in the Tigra. Noel McFerrin in second place. Carl Waller-Barrett finishing third. Simon Kennedy in fourth. Jason Q in fifth. Morgan Williams in the 108. 206cc is in sixth. Gavin Murray in seventh. Tim Close. In his 89 Corsa in 8th. Ronan O'Brien in that bright green 206 in ninth, And Sam Nelson, as we said, King Womble, number 23 in the mini, rounds out your top 10 for heat number 6. So next That's we... That's in that one. There was a 206 in the mix of the podium, whereas it was a clean sweep of Tigras in heat 5. Just to notice in that one. In fact, yeah, that is basically the entire top five that's uh, all locked out by Tigras, other than uh, Noel McFerrin in the Cow 206. So we're now so, going to uh, now comes the interesting time. We're going to have to uh, yeah, see I what. Yeah, just going to say, how are we going to find this out, Gav? Because we've had bits of paper in front of us up to now. <laughs> <laughs> now we're um, I think we're just going to have to play it by ear on. Uh, on who it is that we see coming in to the server. I'll announce them as I see the people coming in. But I'm going um, to try and see if we can hit control and print this end to see if I can get some sort of grid. Bear with me. <laughs> and uh, I know the admins are, are getting the guys on track as well. So this may or may not work. See, now we've got the advantage that obviously uh, Jay Austin is uh, in place as the admin for tonight's event. And... Uh, Sarah is also there, obviously helping out on the commentating side. So we'll see if we can get a little bit of a, a connect between those two guys and find out for you who is going to be in final B. So you can see the format that we're running. We've done the six heats, final B. And my understanding is the winner of final B then gets a chance to go through to final A at the end of the evening, which is going to be the top scoring guys from the heats that we have had so far. So with a little bit of luck, Sarah should be able to come back to us and uh, give us an idea of A, who's going to be in and possibly even help us work out what is happening points-wise. 
it's all rather hectic with the admins at the moment, so I've been told, yes, we will get a grid, but just bear with us this end, please. That's fine. I'm pretty sure that we can uh, we can wait for that one. There's uh, only three cars that are sat on the track on the infield at the moment, and that's the guys who are bringing you tonight's event. Uh, Jay Austin is there. I am obviously there. And the guys at Speedworth TV, obviously the events that we're doing are being run in association with Speedworth Motorsports, Speedworth TV, and the guys at NationalHotRod.com. Very big shout out to all of those guys for uh, associating themselves with us while we run these events. Can you see any comments from any of our followers there, Gav? What, what's the reaction from tonight from the first proper race meeting? Let's have a look. So we'll go through. I'm going to have a quick nose and see what we've got on facebook for the moment and then i'll uh and then i'll jump back over to youtube and we can see what's happening from there sandra earlier on said can you give us the results i'm guessing that was probably when i was having some issues with uh, the results disappearing before i could get them in and carrie taylor has uh, has answered that it's the pair of us are commentating there's another national hot rod driver that i can see there who's watching whether or not he's still with us mr stuart mcclaird the uh, the big man at Aviation Southwest. You'll have no doubt seen uh, seen his hot rod if you uh, frequent the circuits. Uh, what else have we got here then? Clive Merchant says, "Are they racing in banger mode?" It depends entirely who you are. Uh, it depends entirely who you are watching. And, uh, he then goes on to say, "Nudge and spin racing." So. Johnny Hammond obviously lost a wheel at some point, judging by what everyone's saying. So just to clarify, Gav, the admins have just confirmed. So um, the 21st point scorer from tonight will be our pole man for this B final. And then the winner of this B final will be on the back of the grid for the A final. Ah. So that'll be uh, pretty good if somebody can get into both races there. Yeah, that'll be an interesting one to see. I mean, I don't think that's going to be any of the... Uh, the big names that we've been uh, talking about so far this evening. I can imagine the likes of Niall McFerrin and uh, the Slaters, Carl Waller Barrett, those guys, the superstars, I'm pretty sure are going to probably have already uh, secured their places in Final A, but we'll, uh, we'll wait and see when they all start to come out on the grid. Got lots of support for the Wolseys in uh, Facebook chat. Just to give you an update, everybody, I can confirm that our pole man for this B final is going to be Mr. Jason Q174, Q is he's better known, to his friends and family. Nice. Got Dorothy Morrissey McGrath saying Aaron McGrath is in the A final. He's uh, he's the one running the 57 skin. That's of his uh, his cousin's car, which was done. That's uh, that's a nice car actually. I've I've uh, seen that a few times. That is nice to see. Let's have a look and we'll see some of the other cars that are... Uh, let's jump over so you can see some of the other cars that are showing that they've uh, called into the server so far. We've got your favourite car of the evening so far there, Sarah, look. With uh, Ronan, uh, Ronan O'Brien in the bright yep, green 715 car. That uh, there, I believe, is uh, Mr. Alan 959 who's running the 14 paint. And they're just flicking it through to a race so they can get everyone out. Craig Durant has uh, made it into final B. It's nicely done for him. He's another Makes one of the... Makes our job so much easier to have their names and numbers on, doesn't it? Doesn't <laughs> it? The, as I said, the only problem is when you get the likes of uh, of Johnny Hammond, who's obviously running a Wolsey car, but not Wolsey car. Well, it is a Wolsey car, but he's not a Wolsey. <laughs> there we go. I've managed to, get it, managed to get it twice in one broadcast. That's not bad going. So there's a couple of people just asking that they'd like to see about showing some interest in joining in with us possibly for a future meeting. So uh, maybe at the end of the meeting we can just take people through how they could join in and, and join the grid with us. Definitely. Well, I mean, we can probably even take them through it while these guys are, uh, are all lining up as we watch our poll sitter for this. QE himself uh, in the 174 car. So... He, as Sarah said a minute ago, is going to be our pole sitter. If you guys are interested in joining us, then um, 
make sure you check us out. You'll find us on Facebook on online. Uh, just search for Online Oval Racing, and uh, you will no doubt find pictures which will uh, look pretty much like the stream that you guys are watching. And um, if you check out there, it will give you all of the details. We've also got our website, which is www.onlineovalracing.co.uk. If you head over there, that will give you more information. That's where you can actually sign up to be a driver and join us in these events. And you can sign up to the various events on there. Those of you who are watching us on YouTube, make sure you have a flick back through the videos because on there we've actually got a set of videos which show you how to register with us and take you through how to use our website. So that website, for those of you who are interested, again, is www.onlineovalracing.co.uk. So we're on board here with QE, your pole sitter. He is in first at the moment. 25 laps these finals are going to be. QE in first. And uh, Wally Hardy in the 972 car in second. Alan 959 in third. And King Womble. As we are underway for final B, QE makes a blinding start out from first and he's already pulling away. He's... Uh, Disappearing off. He's already got a car length or so on Willie Hardy in second place at the moment. There's Willie Hardy in second. Alan 959 is in third and sat right on the rear bumper of that car is Smithy in the 565. You'll remember he had a bit of an incident where he ended up over on his roof in the previous race we saw him in. Cuts off the front of Alan 959 a little bit as they come back out onto the straight. Johnny Hammond in the 50 is now also right up on that back bumper of that 959 showing his number 14 car there's some guys on a mission in this one Gav there's definitely some bumping and barging going on in this one sort of probably a bit more than we've seen in the early stages of the other races big stakes as he said in this one the winner of this then gets to go into final A as uh, Alan 959 gets sidewards and that's going to be Johnny Hammond who's going to pass through as is Craig Durant in that mini on the inside and we look back behind that group We've got Johnny McCoy running in the 148 car all by himself. And, uh, unfortunately, it looks like Sam's kind of gone backwards from the start. He's down to eighth now. And uh, so is your, your friend Ronan O'Brien. He's back in ninth. We won't show you tenth place because tenth place apparently is me. And I'm definitely not I racing. I see your name there, Gav. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely Kiwi's not racing. Out a bit more of a, a bigger lead. He was 1.5 seconds, and now he's gone to over two seconds away from Willie Hardy. So let's flick through there. You can see my car and Jay's car sat on the inside as we then jump round to QE. You can see the gap there. There's no one in the same shot as him at the moment as he comes round to pass Ronan O'Brien. Right on board with QE as he goes up the inside. Ronan's out wide there, so that's a pretty no nonsense yeah, that's a good move in there to move out of the leaders by as they're being uh, overtaken there. well out of the way you can see there's a lot fewer cars out on track this time round for the final beat the track looks a lot clearer than it has in some of the earlier races but let's see if we can head back to where some of the cars are a little bit closer together smithy still oh, and hardy's seems... lost their place hardy's lost theirs he has let's just have a look so smithy's up into second now willie hardy's in third in the uh 72 car Johnny Hammond they've all spread out quite nicely now so I would hazard a guess that I can't see any huge changes although this being a 25 lap race you never quite know what could happen no it's the stamina also at these sorts of finals isn't it yeah definitely Craig Durant in the 84 mini in fifth and uh, Alan in the 959 car has uh, just slipped backwards from uh I think he started third in this event and he's uh, slipped back to uh, sixth place there. Oh, so I'm loving this background information from our viewers. Johnny Hammond is a Woolsey. He's the grandson of Norman. So says Valerie Woolsey Medill. So thank you very much for that one, Valerie. Valerie, I completely take that back then. I can no longer make my comment that he's uh, running in a Woolsey car but not a Woolsey. So there we go. Thank you very much for that one. That uh, helps us out there. So, grandson uh, 
grandson Wolsey. I think we're now going to have to uh, refer to Johnny Hammond as in the number 50 car. Yeah, let's not go for Wolsey Junior Junior as they would do in America. <laughs> So, Johnny, while we're speaking of him, he's running in fourth place. Willie Hardy is uh, still in front of him, although it looks actually like Johnny Hammond is catching uh, Willie Hardy for that third place. The, uh, Huey the... is now over four seconds ahead of Smithy in, in second. Well clear there, and you can see uh, that, was, um, that was Sam Nelson in the 23 car trying to get out of the way of the leading cars and letting them race, which... Uh, some pretty good race craft from a lot of the, the more inexperienced guys. They are trying to get out of the faster guys' way as they are coming round to pass. Yeah, definitely. As we've said before, this is just the first race meeting. There will be plenty of opportunities for these guys to pick up their speed as we go through the summer. So, lap 19 out of 25 at the moment. Your positions as they stand at the moment. Huey's in first. Smithy 565 is in second as we watch Willie Hardy run ride and uh, Johnny Hammond was having a little peek. He's going to have another look again here. Let's watch as they come down into this corner. He nearly had the inside there. Let's watch. He's, yeah, he's let Willie Hardy. He's run wide again. And Johnny Hammond pounces on that as an opportunity. There we go. He's now up to third. Although Willie Hardy's now passed him back up the inside again. This is going to be a good little scrap. I think this is probably the best one. This is a great scrap. For us to watch. To nice, clean racing as well. It's oh. a, she said. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit of nudging here and there, but they're, they're not really taking each other offline. Although Willie Hardy's now hit the tyre on the inside. That spun him out. This is really going to uh, flip the order so around. They've lost their positions and they're all flying through, all the others. Let's have a look at this. So Sam is, is not going to be anywhere near because he's uh, still a lap down. And uh, Ronan O'Brien, five laps down, sat on the infield. Let's try and work out exactly what that little incident has done to our leading cars. Huey, completely unaffected by that. Still with a four-second gap as we go into lap 24. Smithy in the 565 car, managing to stay on all four wheels this time round. He's in second. Craig Durant, one of the painters, and as I said, one of only two guys running the Mini in this event, up in third. He's really capitalised on that little crash that we had a minute ago. And uh, Alan 959 hasn't done too badly out of it either. Up to four. No, I think it's very much, you know, bide your time and just see what happens in front of you. And uh, they get a bit too keen. And that is what often happens in everyday racing as well as online stuff. You wouldn't have thought that that would end up going with uh, Craig Durant finishing in third. That's for sure. If you'd have uh, looked back at that one at the beginning. And you definitely wouldn't have had Alan in the 959 car finishing in in fourth um that, that was no that donut has quite hilariously gone completely <laughs> wrong at the end there we're going to watch my language because obviously we are live streaming here yeah we won't um no no potty mouth please sarah let's uh, keep it good for the kids and yeah that was that was definitely interesting to watch him uh just tail slide into the uh into the back of craig durant's car there so we'll um we'll wait and see because we'll get the official information from Sarah soon and the admins as to who is going to be in final A. It's going to be the last event that we're going to have this evening. The yeah, we final hope final. Enjoyed the first meeting. We've had a, a nice evening anyway. Well, apart from me defrosting half my food and unintentionally. Yeah, so Sarah's now. Uh, everyone's going to have to think of of Sarah when you've uh, when you finish this. She's going to be off in the kitchen cooking off copious amounts of chicken, while everyone else can disappear off into their lounge and and get on the beers. Assuming that you are not on the beers already, I know there definitely will be people who are watching. But yeah, in Facebook and uh, and YouTube chat, let us know where you guys are watching, what you've thought of the event that we've had this evening whether or not you've uh, you've enjoyed it we very much look forward to uh, to seeing all of your comments and um just seeing how we can do a little bit better next time things i can say You're just have... trying to prove you got some friends there gav uh, yeah, it's my fault for forgetting to put it on silent so it's, it's i mean i can count the number of times my phone's probably gone off on one hand today but we won't go into that <laughs> and that, uh, oh, the say, are you sure that's not just the admins getting all uh, excited through probably. the day? Probably, yeah, that probably was. Yeah, everyone, yeah, 
people asking about skins and everything. That's probably all that was. Let's have a look. Uh, Martin Codling on YouTube says, how do I play? So um, we'll run through it again, guys. Uh, check out the Facebook page. If you look on Facebook for Online Oval Racing, then you will find us there. There's a, a wealth of information on there. Um, and also look out for the website, www.onlineovalracing, all one word, .co.uk. And that is our website. That is where you can sign up to be a driver in with this and you can book in for the various events that we have got going on on the YouTube channel as well. There's informational videos on how to use that website. It's pretty self-explanatory for the vast majority of people, but if you are struggling, then those videos are there for you to have a look at. We look forward to seeing, uh, hopefully you guys come in and join us in the future. The uh, more races that we can get in and interested in what we're doing with the national hot rods the better i am like the background information queen here so we've had some lovely information come through from dorothy morrissey mcgrath who uh i would imagine is a, a, a family member of aaron in the 57 car he is running his cousin's skin his cousin is sean o'leary and apparently that's his normal racing colors so aaron is is running the skin of his his cousin's race car there which is lovely to see the family connections nice Going back a little bit earlier on in the evening, we had uh, Carl Upshaw on the YouTubes. He says, I'm going to the bar. Who fancies a pint? Well, I don't know. It's probably going to be a little bit warm now. But if you're still offering, Carl, then I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely have one. And, uh, I'm assuming that's like a bar down the bottom of his garden or something, because we're not allowed in pubs at the minute, are well, we? Well, why not? And, I mean, it could just be uh, the bar to kitchen. I'm, I'm not fussy. I'll take beer from wherever it comes from at this moment in time. Yeah. I ain't got any in my fridge anymore. I've just had to take it all out to put all the milk in. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look at some of the people that I can see who are in Final A. We'll completely ignore the fact that myself, Jay, and Speedworth TV are in here. So we have Mr. Gavin Murray. Cannonball himself, the number 95, is in, or he was. It's all moving about a little bit. He's in. Lewis Willis is in. Sean Cooney, 921, is in. Ryan Wolsey. Was there ever any doubt that he was going to be in final eight? Uh, Michael Barber in the 296 car. Sean Taylor in the 152. Sean Jacklin in the 11. And the other Wolsey being Wayne in the 950. Tim Close in the 89. Carl Waller Barrett in his 162 car. Simon 998. Aaron McGrath. Dom Freeman in that 61 uh, NASCAR inspired car that we have got. Barry Casey in the 961. Derek Martin. We always knew he was going to be in here, along with Ricky Slater in that 102 car. Ben Denyer in the 149. Morgan Williams in the 108. And 21st person, I think that should be 21. No, it's not quite 21 that I had in. Noel McFerrin, I completely forgot about him. But 21st that we're going to have lining up was our winner from Final B. That being Jason Q, Huey himself in the 174 car. So those are the people. I've got news about our poll, man, if you'd like it. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've got who's in. I haven't got what order, so it's, uh, it's yeah. really interesting Yeah, well, all to I know see. so far is the poll, man. So that's all I've got, which is going to be Superstock 144. Lewis so he will be our poll, man, for this final A. He is going to be an interesting one to watch for this, because although he's not rated as one of the... Uh, the superstars in this we've seen him in the events that he's he's been in so far he seems to be one of those mr consistent drivers he's um he's going to be a difficult one to, to get past you need. some consistent you know top 10 or good top 10 results that's all you need as uh, very often how it works in in regular uh, racing as well yeah just trying to stay out of uh, stay out of trouble so let's um let's see if we can't find our man himself. Uh, we'll just hold out for a second just while they're sorting out the server. All non essential personnel leave the grid now. That very well means that we are sorted for the race and we are going to be getting underway very shortly. That's uh, basically our factor's way of uh, our factor's way of letting you know that the race is starting. So. Let's uh, bring up some bits so you guys can see what's happening. I'm going to take away the towel for the moment on the side because that's going to make absolutely no sense until 
we get underway. We're on board with pole sitter number 144, Lewis Willisey. Let's watch him as he uh, makes his way through. Simon 998 that's also going with him there. Two nice colourful cars that you've got. And you've got Tim Close in the 89 car behind them. As they all start to get into order, we'll start to be able to... That was uh, Johnny Hammond that was uh, backing up to get around into position, I saw just then. You can't miss him in the uh, in that silver Wolsey car. Looks uh, like he may be starting... He started somewhere near the top. There's Ricky Slater in that 102 car on the outside there. This is going to be a very interesting start. Lewis yeah, Willis, as, we, this. as we've close. said, he's Mr. Consistent. Simon in that 998 car has made some good starts, but look at that. That's Derek Martin that's tucked in behind them there. And then Ricky Slater on the outside. This is going to be fun to watch just for these front four cars alone let alone what's going to happen later on down the I grid. I don't want to give the commentators curse, so I'm, I'm keeping Sturm on this one. We'll keep Sturm. We'll just call it as it happens, and I don't think it's going to be a huge amount of time now before we get underway in this final A, the last event that we've got this evening at Ipswich. So as I can see, I'm lined up at the moment. I'm going to be quiet now because it looks like we're underway, or is this going to be a formation lap? No, this is going to be formation. It is a formation lap. I did wonder for a second there. I didn't know if they were just doing a standing start. So let's call it as we see it. Lewis Willisey is on pole. Simon 998 outside him. Derek Martin in third. Wayne Wolsey in the 950 car was shown in fourth. Uh, Ricky Slate has now moved up to that one. That's definitely going to be an interesting start here. Look, Wayne Wolsey starting in sixth. Sean Jacklin in seventh. Niall McFerrin's going to be another one to watch. Eighth place down there with Ryan Wolsey in ninth. Carl Waller Barrett rounding out the top ten. This is going to be an absolutely phenomenal start to this I race. I can feel it already. Turn. Yeah, yeah. Let's just hope they'll get round safely. You never win it on the first lap. Revs are climbing and we're away. Lewis Willis, he is managing to hold on to that lead to start off with at the moment. The 998 car, Simon in that 998 car, is coming under attack already from uh, Derek Martin and from Ricky Slater in that 102 car behind. Let's watch this battle. This is going to be an interesting one. Derek Martin's moving to the inside. I think he's going to have that position over the next couple of laps. A little nudge there. He uh, rides up a little bit and Ricky Slater moves right up on the back of Derek Martin. But Derek Martin is through into second place Wayne Wolsey. he's up to fifth Wayne Wolsey is flying already Ryan Wolsey is also making his way through the pack by the looks of things he's sitting in tenth at the moment Noel McFerrin is still in eighth waiting to see if those guys start making moves let's move a bit further back down the pack and see what's happening there's Johnny Hammond in the 50 car there's Carl Waller Barrett behind him and, and Noel McFerrin in second. the flying car Derek Martin is up to second. Carwella Barrett looks like he's going to make that move on Johnny Hammond, and he does. And Niall is having a look at the inside of uh, Carl there. But then sits back. We may see it this time round. Let's ride on board. Oh, oh, Johnny oh, Hammond with the nudge there. there. And there's someone's wheel. Who's that that's lost a wheel there? That's going to be an interesting one. Is that Johnny Hammond that's lost a wheel? You can see the leaders there. That's uh, that's Lewis Willisey and Derek Martin's already having a look there. Let's um, join those guys in that lead battle. Don Freeman in ninth. He's running well. There's the McGrath car. There's uh, Ryan Woolsey. We've been looking to see how he's been getting on, but let's move back forward. There's Carl Wallabar up the inside of QE. Ricky Slater in the 102 car. And now we move to where the action's really going to happen. We're going to jump on board now with Kevin Martin. Uh, Derek Martin. Where did Kevin come from? Derek Martin. I used to know someone called Kevin Martin. Maybe that's what it is. Derek Martin in second. Look, he's all over the back of Lewis Willisey, but he has been, as we've said all along, Mr. Consistent. And he's not going to yeah, be the easiest person to pass. Is he's, he's holding on there, isn't he's he? He's holding on to that inside line. He's making it very difficult for Derek to get past him. Running out to the wall each time. This is some very clean racing, though. 
a lot of respect being shown to each other between these uh, between these two. A little bit of rubbing here and there, but nothing major. And we've got um, Simon and the 998 cars in the middle of that mix, but he's not actually part of this race. The next one that you want to watch back, he's back in third. Is Derek Martin does go through into first place there. A little yeah, bit of a mistake. Watch out, because he's got the pack coming coming through. He's just he going to has, out their way. He's got everyone there. He's hung wired. That's uh, that's the sign of an experienced racer. There just hangs around the outside, lets the leading cars through. So as we see at the moment, Derek Martin's in first. Lewis Willisy is still trying to hold on. There's Sean Taylor spinning. Oh, off he goes. Up he to the armco. disappeared up into the armco there. So Derek Martin in first. Lewis Willisy's in second. Ricky Slater is back in third. He looks like he made it past that 998 car safely. Carl Waller Barrett is uh, running well. Look, he's up in fourth. And Michael Barber in the next car back. There's a bit of a gap there. And look who that is behind him. Ryan Wolsey in that 940 yeah. car and QE behind him. Niall McFerrin hasn't actually fared as well as I thought he would in this race. He's back in seventh. Aaron McGrath behind him in eighth. Sean Jacklin in ninth. And Dom Freeman is doing fantastically well in that 61 car to round out the top ten. Let's head back forward. Derek Martin's not pulling away as I thought he might, though. He's only He's just got a not, second lead. I thought he'd probably get to grips with that one. This is going to be the interesting one now, watching Ricky Slater on Lewis Willisy. Neither of these guys are slouches. One of them, and I think that was probably Lewis locking the brakes a little bit there, but we know full well from what we've already seen between Lewis and Derek, he's not going to make it easy for the 102 car to get past. Now trying the outside line is uh, trying the outside. We know Derek made that work a few laps ago, and it looks like Ricky may possibly have some luck this time. He had a bit of a run on the outside here. It's going to be last of the late breakers as they come around the corner this time. 21 laps out of 25, Ricky gets it done. Ricky Slater in the 102 moves up to second. Lewis down to third. Michael Barber, I think, is uh, still a little way back. So Don Freeman moving out the way of the leading cars and the 998 car behind him those guys are racing for position and it looks like simon in the 998 car just got past dom freeman there oh and that's a big shunt oh, yeah dom freeman in the background with simon 11th and 10th we'll see what happens with those guys a little bit later on and that's carnage as they come around there derek martin I think I may well, have just lost the lead. Half, yeah, he had got a two and a half second lead. But Derek yeah, Martin just lost the lead. Out. We need to find out what happened back there. There was some kind of event coming out of that back corner that obviously got Derek Martin all caught up in it. I saw Sean Taylor's car in there as well. There's a wheel on the track. Not entirely sure who that's for. But looking at this, we've already got several DNFs from this. Sean Cooney, Morgan Williams, Wayne Wolsey in the 950 cars down as a DNF. And so is Tim Close in the 89 car as we finish 25 laps of 25. So our results as I see them for this final. Ricky Slater makes the most of uh, that little accident that was there and... Uh, takes first place from Derek Martin in second. Lewis Willisy, who was our pole starter, held on the best that he could, drops down to third. That was some very valiant racing that we uh, that we saw from him there. And uh, Ryan Wolsey is another one who I'm guessing made the most of that accident that we had. He has moved up to fifth. And let's see who else we can get. Niall McFerrin in the 9-10. Is up to 6th. Aaron McGrath in the 57 car up to 7th. Carl Weller Barrett. I'm guessing he must have had some kind of incident. He finished 8th. Sean Jacklin in the 11 car. And 61 was rounded out. Dom Freeman. We'll have to see whether or not anything comes of that little incident that we saw right at the very end there. Between Dom Freeman and who was that with? That was Simon 998, wasn't it? That we saw... Uh, Having a bit of a coming together there. So we'll have to see what happened with those two. And we'll also have to try and find out exactly what it was that happened that caused Derek Martin to lose out on that first place to Ricky Slater. Congratulations to him, though.
Ricky being the yeah, some great first racing. winner. I can hear the ad admins are saying thank you to all the drivers for their great racing and input throughout the evening. So um, that's See something if, uh, we'd also like to mirror here. Definitely. So let's look at our top drivers as they uh, as they finish. Derek Martin, there he is, your number two, uh, second place guy in the final. It was very unlucky. He was um, he was storming ahead. Lewis Willacy in third, and let's see if we can't find uh, we'll find some people who are probably in doing donuts for no real particular reason. <laughs> but um, the guy that we are looking for, I think, may have already has he already disconnected? I bet he's already disconnected. He's won and he's gone. No, there he is, Ricky Slater, first place and winner of the first final A that we have had here at uh, Ipswich with the online oval racing team. Guys, I hope, in fact, let's, uh, let's put up the results just so that people can, can see it for how things actually finished up out of that final. It's been an amazing evening this evening. I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, commentating for all of you guys. Make sure you drop a comment down in... Uh, in YouTube or on Facebook, let us know what you thought, what we can improve on. We're always happy to try and make things a little bit better for you, the guys who are watching us. And once more, I'll leave young Sarah so that she can run through the uh, the final positions of everyone in the final, if she's still there and not uh, coercing with the admins. Yeah, I'm still here. Yes. Yeah. So top 10 then for this final. Well done to everybody. So, Ricky Slater in the 206cc, followed by Derek Martin in the Tigra, Lewis Willisey, who was our uh, super stop man, in, also in the Tigra. They round off the podium. In your fourth place, you have Michael Barber in a Saxo. So, uh, that's uh, one of the front-running Saxos of the evening, really. Fifth place is Ryan Woolsey, who is another Tigra driver. Then we have Niall McFerrin in the 206 in sixth place. Seventh is Aaron McGrath. He's in a Corsa. Interestingly, the only Corsa in the top ten there. Um, then eighth place, we have Carl Waller Barrett, who's in a Tiger. And ninth is Sean Jacklin. And Dom Freeman is tenth, rounding off. And they are all Tigres, those last three. So, uh, definitely a good night for Tigres. But as you say, Gav, there's, there's quite a lot of them out there. Six Tigres that we've got in that final across the top ten. It's uh, nice to see that a 206cc was uh, was the one that actually sat on the top step of, step of the podium. Ricky Slater driving that one. And... Um, I'm kind of thinking now, now that Niall McFerrin has raced the what we've dubbed the cow car for the evening, even even if he does get a skin done specifically for him in the future, I think we have to... Um, I, I don't think we can let him race it now. I think we have to leave him in the cow car. It's uh, Yeah, just put a couple of his sponsors on, but yeah, we're happy. We, we, we like that one, don't we? Beyond that, we've got to keep a car that's looking positively bovine. I think that's the uh, the way to go forward. Guys, it's been absolutely amazing for you coming out and joining us this evening. We hope that you have enjoyed watching. If you have, especially on the YouTubes, smash a like, smash that subscribe button, smash the bell that's down there as well. All of those will let you know when we go live next, when we drop any more content, because we might have some uh, other bits and pieces that are coming out in between races. But, um, yeah, thank you very much from all of us at uh, Online Oval Racing. And... Uh, from myself and no doubt from Sarah as well. I'd and like to from me, definitely. and definitely from you. I'd like to wish you all a very good evening and we can't wait to see you again soon. <laughs>